Hey everybody, Bradley Svenine here with another guide for Skatebird. In this video, I'll show you all of the missions in each of the levels. You can go watch my video for the collectibles guide. That one will be probably what more people will watch. But if you get stuck on a mission, this video will help you too. So I'll start off again by showing you the settings. Feel free to change any settings you want to help you out in the game. Field of view, turn off balancing, give you an extra boost. There are other settings I didn't touch, so like I said in the other video, put it in the comments if you change some of the other dead zones, and if you know what they do, and if it helps, throw it in the comments, that'll help other people too. Also, go to cheats, these won't void achievements either. LT, RT, RB, LB at the same time will bring up the cheat menu. You type in the three codes, and that will greatly help you with everything in the game, obviously. And then with all the settings you want, and the cheats enabled, We'll get started here, so I'll tell you a few things to start off. There's two different types of missions. If you press the start button, you see a little picture of the level in the top right, and the yellowish, orange type of mission buttons will be the story ones, and the blue ones will be side missions. You gotta complete both. So some missions won't be unlocked until you complete other ones. So I'll show you all of them in this video here. I'll quickly go through each one. I'll cut, I'll skip through the dialogue and cut the random driving around to each person so that you could just quickly a smooth viewing experience for this video if you get stuck on any mission so let's get at her the first mission here humble beginnings so we're gonna start off and I'll add some commentary as well throughout each of the missions the first level is probably gonna be pretty easy so you'll kind of get a gist of what's going on here I will be timestamping each level as well you could go into the description of the video to skip to a certain level if you want So the first one is going to be the basic training levels, yada yada yada, but they'll be pretty quick for us to roll through here. So as you see, I'm just going to skip the dialogue so that I don't waste a bunch of video time showing you that. So first one, do an ollie, do a flip trick, flip trip, flip trick is the X button. Just tap A and then tap X, easy. When I dip to black, that means we're going to a new person. If it just across dissolve and doesn't dip to black, that means I just skipped some of my driving around not knowing what I was doing. So now we got to find Big Friend's charger. It's just sitting over here in the corner of the room. Once you hit the right angle there with enough speed, you'll be able to reach it. Onto the mission tricked out. For this one, you're gonna have to grind some of the bulls underneath the bed. You also have to grab the six crush cans that are just around the bulls as well. Super easy to find. And as far as grinding on the bulls go, you're basically just gonna wanna ride towards it, jump, and then hold the Y button to start grinding. Obviously you have to get high enough or you're gonna hit the side of the bowl like that. Just do it once on each bowl. As you can see there, you don't gotta do the check marks in order there. You can pick however order you wanna do them. You just gotta click them all off in the time given. So that's it for Tricked Out. We're gonna go to the Crucibird down here next. This guy wants you to do some stall tricks by the cups, so at when you're going right at a lip, instead of an angle, you'll be able to stall by holding the Y button. Same button as grind. So you can line them up if you like to. You could just ride real slow, hold down on the left stick to slow down and then line it up so you can easily slowly go up instead of grinding like that. See, if you go a little too fast, you may actually hit it on an angle and grind instead. So kind of slow your roll. That one I think I got lucky. It still kind of looked like I probably should have grinded there. That one was pretty perfect there, just straight on. Hold the Y button. And that's it for the Cru Crucibird challenge. On to the next.
This one is called Opening Day. I believe this guy is a story mission. It really doesn't matter at this point whether you do the story missions or the side missions first. The final story mission will bring you to the next level, but you could easily press start and go back to the level you're previously doing to finish off the missions. So the order of the missions really don't matter, if you were wondering. So this one you gotta find the four plastic forks. And I should mention that little golden bird in the middle of the screen there is always pointing at your next objective, so that's very useful. This one's the trickiest, obviously. It took me a little while to figure out how to get that one, but as you see there, just a nice clean line off the table there. And <laughs> that sounded funny. And you'll be able to get that last fork. And opening day is finished. And like I mentioned before, other waves of challenges will unlock after you complete some. You'll notice like there's only one left, you complete it, and now there's six more. That's natural. So now we're going to go on to this guy. He wants you to hit the burly benches gap, which is essentially just grinding from one bench to the other. As you see here, I'm having a bit of a hard time struggling. But eventually, you go from one, clear the gap, grind again, complete. This next one, obviously, is a Tony Hawk spoof. As you have to collect skate, you got to do this in each level. There will be other words you have to spell too with some of the challenges, but there will be a skate in each level. So as you see with that T, you kind of got to cross the gap there. Easy enough. They're usually pretty close together too. Now this trio fam of birds will always want you to get a high point combo. Level 1 it sh starts off small, gets gradually bigger each level. So this is where turning off balancing really helps. Because then you could pretty much just stall forever. This is how I get a lot of my point combos and things like that. And then you jump and then tap X and move your left stick to kind of do a different flip. And as long as you tap Y every time you land you just keep stalling and that's how you do the combos and tricks and points that one was really easy to hit but eventually you'll have to hit a 200,000 points this next guy down here wants you to collect money in the form of letters not actual money That one's pretty easy. Swole Owl Incorporated is the next one here. This guy wants you to go to three different spots and then do grab tricks once you get there. So the first one's on the microwave. Kind of got screwed around there. Remember, you could always just tap up on the D-pad to respawn. So ride the pizza boxes, get to the top of the microwave here, and then once you get to the locations, all you gotta do is jump and then tap B twice. B is to do a grab trick. You could just double tap it and it'll count as doing two tricks. You don't even have to land the tricks. So on to spot number two. It's gonna be over by the window here, where you got the money mission there. Again, jump, tap B twice, easy. The next spot is going to be on top of the ping pong table. Jump, double tap B, bingo. So for any grab trick or flip trick, all you got to do is double tap the button or however many times tap it. Really easy to do those tricks. For this next one, you got to attach balloons to parts of the bed here. That one, I assume you'd have to jump off the pizza boxes if you didn't have the extra jump on. So the first three will be on this side of the bed. The last one will actually be on top of the bed. And as far as, far as the manuals go, all you gotta do is be on flat ground and then tap B. So similar to doing the grab tricks, but without jumping. So once you hit the last one there, then you just B, 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 
<laughs> and that counts as three manuals. Feeling buoyant is finished. Next, we're going to go to this Chad bird over here. Now, you'll see little flat cups here. You just want to tap RB to do the transfer. These two have a landing ramp. The other two won't. But still, you just double tap RB to transfer over it anyways, like so. Easy enough. Chad's happy. This next guy is right beside the Chad guy we just talked to. This one's really easy. Just tap up on the D-pad to do that. Next, falling off your ride. Easy again. Then it wants you to tap up on the D-pad three more times. And now for this last one, to scram, you have to tap, tap LB. But for this mission, you got to follow where the sparrow wants you to go, which is just off the ping pong table. It'll make you fall, and then you just tap LB ten times rapidly. Next up is the leftovers where you got to collect some snacks. All of them are going to be in the corner here. Couple of big fails here. This one's kind of sneaky in between the Thrasher magazines. It's more camouflage sneaky. There we go, that's better. And then right at the edge of the table here, you'll see another Thrasher magazine, and that's where the last donut will be. Easy enough. This next one, you gotta get some duct tape and then some cardboard boxes. So you'll start off by the bird here, and there will be six duct tapes on the way to the countertop here. So you're gonna wanna come at this a bit of an angle to start grinding. Grind all the way to the kitchen here. And then once you fall by the bread, turn around and there's two more duct tape here on the counter. And now we're gonna go get the cardboard statues which are over by the window over there. And on the side of the wall here, you'll see them lined up and around the corner. There you go, he's got all his stuff, he's happy. Now this bird's kind of hiding up here in the corner. You can fast teleport up there or you could just go up there like I just did there. This Mohawk buddy wants you to get some science veils. And then he wants you to ollie off cups. So the, all the vials will be up here. Make sure to grab all of these. Not sure why it makes like a flushing noise when you get them. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. And then for the crushed cups, they're going to be on the floor by the ping pong table. And once you get to the cup, Tap A to Ollie on it. It's not Ollie over, it's Ollie off of it. So clearing it won't give you credit. And I believe it, you have to hit these in order too. Most things you don't, but these ones you do. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I'm sure someone will. And then you go to the crush cups, slowly ride by each one right as you get to it. Tap A to do a little Ollie. Do it to all six cups and we're done this mission. Next up, we're gonna go to the top of this bowl area, this mission called Bowl Cut. So you gotta stay in the whole bowl for this mission right here. He wants you to do a thousand point trick and a 5,000 point combo. So we're just gonna go do our little lip trick here. 
And every time you do some tricks, you'll see the multiplier going up and eventually you'll do a pop shove it or some worth a thousand points. And by then you probably have a 5,000 point combo. So then you could just jump and just steadily roll down to end the trick. Next up is lift offering. offering. So this guy wants you to fall into the hoop, dunk yourself, and then scream afterwards. So we're going to go to the counter for easy access to the rim. And then from the counter, just kind of go by the cutting board, jump. And as long as you land in there, you'll get the check mark. And then as soon as you do, just tap LB to do a scream. And he'll be impressed. He's got a pretty cool chain on. Next up, outside influences. So here you gotta get a cleaning tool and then buy the stains. I believe he gives you the cleaning tool. By the floating stains here, you gotta do a grab trick. So tap B, hold B while you're flying through the air by these stains around the wall here to get them to go away. There's some stinky clouds that you're gonna have to transfer over to get rid of. So you see these ones where there's a landing on the other side, just tap RB when you're in the air to get rid of those stains. And then there are also stains on the ground where you have to manual. If you just hold B, that will work too. The Monch manual is a pretty easy one to perform and as you can see here you can just hold it ride through all the stink clouds all right for this one it's gonna finish the level this is the final story mission all the other ones have been completed so to start off you gotta find three weird brochures so up here on the glass table you'll find one by the family that wanted you to get the high points. Another one is in between the bench gap here that we grinded earlier. And then the other one is down on the floor here underneath the glass table where you're finding the money letters. Underneath the bed you'll find the fancy GPS. And then on top of the bed here, you'll find the work documents. In the middle of the magazines there, on top of the laptop, and then in the middle of the cardboard pizza box bridge over here. Once you find all that stuff, that'll be the final mission of this level. And if you completed all the side missions as well before hitting this mission, you'll get both beat the level and all the missions achievement. So that's it for Humble Bed Giddings, level 1. Now we'll move on to level 2. Alright, level 2, Scared of Heights. Or Scared of Heights, I should say. First, we'll start off by talking to Seagull Man over here. Pretty easy task of transferring to the higher roof. Just go up here, RB, RB. Then they want you to fall into the clouds, so just tap RB again and RB again. Transfer your way all the way into the clouds. Easy. So next one, we're going to talk to Chaser here. Pretty easy. Transfer and then hold B to do a grab trick and just hold the trick until you get launched out into the distance. He loves the stunt business. Now back talking to Seagull Man, he's going to want you to get some tool bags, I believe, and a fire extinguisher. Or a blowtorch, the opposite of fire extinguisher. So these little green bags, they're only on this one area over here. Using transfers is probably your best way to get these.
The trick for that one is hitting the RB at the right time or just grinding up the ropes if you want. You could just grind up the ropes clearly. Multiple ways to get these bags. You don't have to do it the exact same way. Remember though, if you are not sure where the next bag is, follow that golden dove there in the middle of the screen. It's always pointing to your next objective. Trying to grind on these rails can be a little bit difficult sometimes. And eventually, there you go, once you get all of them, they'll be pleased. Most missions I've done pretty smooth and fast, sorry for that one, it took a little bit longer than I wanted it to. Next one, love language. Pretty simple stuff. Do a grab trick on that side, do a 360 on this side, and then do a flip trick on this side. Just a matter of tapping B and X while you're in the air. The classic skate grab. The idea is to get onto that wire there, but as you can clearly see, I missed it. Remember, you can just hit up on the D-pad, respawn. And eventually, one, two, three. Skate complete. Now we're talking to Chad Shakespeare again. He wants you to stay in a combo for 10 seconds. And with our auto-balancing, that should be... Should be easy anyways, but you could just hold a hold the lip for 10 seconds. You don't even have to do tricks. And once you're done, make sure to just land it. You're good. This guy just wants an 8,000 point combo. Pretty easy stuff. Like all combo tricks, I'm just going to hold a lip trick and keep flipping my board around, getting the multiplier up and ramping up the score until you got what you need. This one's pretty basic stuff. Go to the roof. Do a stall trick, do a grab trick, and get 10,000 points. All in this area. Next up, we'll talk to this guy up here, Vinci. He wants you to collect the money. It's all just going to be up here on this bowl of the rooftop. It's ideal if you could get to the gap here and grind from one side to the other. If you're slowing down on a grind, just jump and grind again. These guys hearing a bunch of rumors about them, they want you to go scope out all the people and what rumors they're spreading. Or crows, I should say, not people. So you just gotta go near them. You don't actually have to touch them, you just gotta go near them in the vicinity to, I guess, hear the rumors they're spreading. Little sneaky crows down there. on the top of that ladder there. There's 
some crows over here. Some crows on this vent bridge over yeah. Some in the corner of this rooftop over here, the vent roof. And the last one is on the elevator roof up there. Once you touch them, or don't touch them, just even if you just go near them. There you go, mission complete, they're happy. Now we're gonna talk to Matt here. He wants you to hit four photobomb spots. This one should be pretty, pretty clear cut. So you can see there, the camera is just kind of in the air that I just kind of missed there. You're going to want to use the lip there on the bridge to elevate yourself or you could just go straight from underneath and hop all the way directly north. Either way, that one's probably the hardest of the four to grab. Eventually I'll get to the right spot here. That one, as you can see, is up there, up on the top of the pipe. Grind that wire to get that one. And then the last one's on a pipe as well. There you go. Eventually, once you get all four of those guys, he'll be happy. This guy wants you to grind the wires. They'll have green lit up markers on them. Pretty basic stuff. This one could be kind of annoying trying to get the wires on the right spot here. That one took longer than expected, but hey, it's gonna happen sometimes. This one's super easy compared to the last one. He just wants you to find the umbrella over on the ladder here. Next are friends that like to see us pull off combos or points at least. Want 10,000 points this time, let's give it to them. As I mentioned before, the lip tricks are the best for combos and points. This guy wants you to grab the legs letters up here, all pretty close together. And then he also want you to do 10 grab tricks, 10 ollies and five manuals. As I've said before, the grab tricks, you're gonna just have to tap B 10 times while in the air. So just jump and tap, 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 tap B and you'll get those grab tricks.
You can also do the manuals by holding B while just skating on the ground. You don't have to be, don't be in the air. Just hold B to do a manual. And all these are pretty self-explanatory. Just jump. This one's also pretty easy, just wants you to do a lap around the top section of the level here. Once you do the full lap, you'll be happy. Next up, this guy wants you to set off some rockets, so all you gotta do is go to the rockets on the edge of the roof and do some tricks around them. Like just a basic kickflip will do. The other ones are down below here. Same side of the building though. Once you set them all off, they'll be happy. Next, this Die Hard mission over here. Wants you to do a bushel full of stuff here. This smokestack here, where we got a collectible, if you watch my collectible video. Ollie off that big vent there, basically just jump while you're on the fan. And then this little small vent over here on the left. Just transfer RBRB into it. And then you just need to fan bounce from one side to the other on each side. So just go transfer, don't hold any tricks. And it should just shoot you over. And just go and do it to the other side. Then we're on to the last mission of this level, a super easy one. After you're done, they just want you to go up here and ollie. You see everyone's here, ready for a party. Set it off with an ollie. I assume they break through that and fall into this next level, which is the office area. I could be wrong there, but it makes for a cool story. So that's it for level two, on to big business, level three. All right, so those first two levels were a bit of a walk in the park. This is where stuff starts to get a little bit harder. So we're gonna start off talking to this guy here. Once you collect five weird brochures, All super easy to grab. I say that as I miss one. Last one's just on the ground, there you go. Next we're gonna go over here for that. The trust snack or size. Once you get the snack bucket. And then collect all the snacks. One of the collectibles will be really close to the snacks here too. You'll probably grab this one without even trying.
Another pretty easy just go and collect stuff mission. Next up, this one can be a little more tricky. The clipped wings. You got to get all these paper clips. They're kind of hard to see. But like I've said before, use that golden dove that points you in the right direction. If you're missing a few and need to know where they are. There will be a bundle over here underneath the table. And there will be some on the corners of the lips over there on the side. I found these ones on the corner pretty annoying to try and grab. So they do give you a pretty nice amount of time to do this. I was kind of dinking around, kind of didn't realize I still needed two of them. But they're actually just sitting right here. As I said, they can be kind of hard to see, especially with the light in the background. Bird Law is the next one we're going to do. We're going to grab the fine art, which is basically some purple bird figures, I guess they are. That one just used transfer to get up onto the chair there. This one's literally sitting right on the ground. Almost too easy. And there's one on the armrest of this chair here. You can just kind of fall off the right side there. And this one, as you can see, is sitting in the half pipe of magazines. But you kind of got to jump to get in there. Or transfer from the outside. This one is the mission that's required to get access into the office. So this is one of the main story missions. Opened beta. And he's got a laundry list of things he wants you to do. So he wants you to play some sweet jams. He wants you to collect snacks. As you can see, I'm, you don't have to do them in order. I'm just going to grab the snacks. Sweet jams, you gotta go to the stereo in the back here and grab the tape on top. And don't be confused, this isn't one of the collectible tapes. This is not included in the unlockable collectible section. Then you gotta grind the two bottles here. couple of wine bottles but they call them juice bottles PG I guess and then a pretty simple 7,000 point combo we'll just go do our good old stall trick action over here and try doing like half flips on your rotation of your left stick to try and get more intensive flips in there instead of just a kick flip you'll get more chunks of points that way and then scream 10 times, you just gotta hit LB rapidly 10 times. 
Now we got access to the office. We're gonna backtrack and do Vinci's quest over here. He just another simple points one here. If you can fit in two flips as well to get that multiplier up faster. And you could just sit there as well and just let the points slowly go up but it'll obviously take a little bit longer. Next up we're gonna go over to this guy, Matty Boy and Mr. Propeller Hat. They want you to get snacks and spell three maple. Yikes. And then the snacks will appear in the bowl here and you just gotta basically grind them up. There's one obviously up there on the TV above you. If you hit the gap from the inside of the bowl you'll be able to get it. Next up, this guy on top of the office here, he's going to want you to do a grind. On the paper clips here. Then he just wants you to fall off your board. That was a little embarrassing. Next up, this family wants you to get the points again. They always want you to get a high point combos. Just gonna speed those up. Here we go, and once you get enough, just land them. Sharice over here wants us to grind these spots to plant seeds, I guess. Kind of weird. The other ones are inside the office. Pretty basic. Next up, this guy wants you to ollie over the wall and then fall and tumble into the office. So then you just roll with your left stick. It's kind of awkward because you're a weird shape. It's not quite like a ball rolling around. You get to you scream to kind of thrust yourself around. It doesn't really go that much faster though. And then once you get to the location, just tap LB to do another scream. 
or scram as they call it. Chaser will be pumped. Next up, redistribution. This guy wants you to collect some letters here. Then mash some keyboard keys. So first up, the letters are all in this desk. Desk legs, I guess you call these. This, I'm not even sure what the hell they call this. Either way. They're all not too hard to grab in here. Then make your way to the keyboard over here. And smash the keys. You smash the same keys, just hit 30 of them. Next, we're going to do total scrim call. Pretty easy stuff. Go to the target spot and tap LB once you get there. Next, we're going to talk to Scarfy Man over here. Once you collect six key cards, they're the little gold things. Last one, I think, is up on the magazines. Kind of hidden there. Next up, we're going to get skate here, collect the letters. Next up, gonna do this one. This guy wants a 15,000 point combo. Get the 15,000 points and land it. No need to be a showboat. Next we're going to get this guy's lucky pin. It's on the headrest of the chair here. Transfer, transfer. And it's right in the middle there as you can see. You could also try and use the wall ride on the back to get to this one. As I'll demonstrate here. And I'm going to miss it so I'm going to go back to the front of the chair. Just show you there's two different ways you can get to that. Also two different ways you could fail. And as long as you're right in the middle, you should be able to double tap RB at the top and hit that one. I had to come back and do this mission because I did the story mission first. That's why the achievement popped there. This is the story mission that will bring you to the next level and it'll also unlock the vent area so you can get one of the tape collectibles too. As I mentioned, I got a video on all the collectibles. You can go ahead and watch that. It's definitely a lot shorter than this. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
So I know this guy wants you to go put on some sweet jams before you do the little trip here. Then he wants you to drive up the purple lanes and then into the vents. Gonna have to grind again to get into the vents and then you just ride them to the end. That's it for level three, now we're on to level four. Onto the Forgotten Gibson. We're gonna start off with Rescue Party talking to Crag over here. Kinda messed up. Wearing a tutu, kinda looks like uh, Jim Carrey, pet detective. Either way, he wants you to hit these four glowy switches. They can be kind of annoying to hit. to pass burb he's gonna want you to type on the three different keyboards here 30 buttons each again the order doesn't matter but there's three keyboards all close together here on the floor that you gotta hit Super easy. Next one, we're gonna talk to Scarfy Boy again. He wants you to get 100,000 points, so as I said before, I'm gonna be speeding through these combos so you don't gotta watch me flip 100 times. As you see, basically just use that stall and keep throwing in different flips, add multipliers. If you hit the right flips, you get chunks of like 5,000 points at a time. Rex the Scarf Man is happy. Next we're gonna talk to Jim Carrey again. He wants you to get these little glowy blue packet things. There's one really close to the boost on the second level that can be a little sneaky and there's one right in the boost as well. That's even more sneaky. There we go, as you see I got one right there. This can be kind of annoying to try and get up to, but remember there is a blue one inside that boost there. That was kind of hard to find. Because you could also use the ramps on the wall there to get on the second level and avoid the boost completely. Then you gotta just go up the ramp here to get the last ones. Craig's happy. Next we want, we're going to the big points fan. They want you to get 200,000 points this time. 
Remember, you could always hit start and retry if you're screwing up. Again, gonna speed through this because that's a lot of points that we gotta get. But you could also, as long as your that fancy egg meter there doesn't go down, your combo will still stay so you can ride from lip to lip if you end up screwing up to keep your combo still. And once you get 200,000 points, drop. Next up we're gonna talk to Buddy here, the spider. This is another hidden collectible that isn't put on the map until you complete this mission. So you just gotta go to the seven different spots to, I guess, show the spider the spots. Is he on you? I don't really know. I guess he's on your head. Okay, that's a little creepy. Remember the reset teleport cheat is really handy to be able to just hit up on the d-pad to make your way around the map until you get to where you want to be, or at least close enough to it. I'm really struggling getting down this hill here. Mission complete. Buddy, you just showed him the whole room. He's got to be pumped. This whole world's been expanded. I don't know why he couldn't just crawl around there. He is a spider. Next up, we're going to go back to Craig over here. He wants you to collect ABC123. Grinding this little cord over here can be a little tricky at times. Eventually you'll get it, Craig's happy. Next we're going to talk to Vincey again. He wants you to clear that zappy gap up there. So make your way up there, teleport up there however you want, and then make sure to grind, jump, grind. You may not even have to jump, but just make sure that you grind on both ends, and he'll be happy. Next, we're going to go down here in a bunny ears, scarf man. He wants you to grind on some cables. You can see by the glowing green circles there. Again, we're going to have to tackle that little extension cord to extension cord here. Just make sure you jump high enough so you don't hit the plug part of that cord. It's kind of the key to that one. You don't have to grind the whole cord, remember you just gotta grind where the green markers are if you're curious. And I just make my way back to the corner of the room here with these half pipe magazines to get on these wires. Bunny your scarf man is gonna be happy with that one. Feather protocol. This one you gotta pick up some feathers from Matty Boy. Can be a little bit tricky. That one clearly is not tricky. 
Got this one over here, just a simple transfer will do. And we're gonna go up to level two here. There's one by the plugs over here. And then there's a second one on the extension cord, kinda up towards the roof here. So you can see just on the left, gonna turn around. There you go. Then we're gonna go to the upper level here and on the magazine by that short little extension cord that's hard to grind. Then the last one is kind of on this ramp you probably haven't actually skated on in this level. You may have, but this was the first time I was ever on this section of the level. So it's kind of hiding behind the half pipe there. Or quarter pipe. Next we're going to do pop and locks with Craig. He wants you to ollie on those switches. You got to do them in order. You can't just ollie whatever ones you want. You got to hit the right one first. So follow that gold dove wherever it's pointing. So just slow up to make it easier for you instead of jumping too far ahead. And then just jump when you're right by the button or latch or whatever it is. Talk to Craig a lot in this mission, I see. Ah, Sharice, what do you want? Wants you to get the scissors. So we're gonna go up to the top level here to find the scissors. Then you need to get to the target spot, which is the half pipe magazine over here in the corner. And then while you're here, you need to get 50,000 points. This wasn't my smoothest mission. As I proceed to lose my combo. I'm going to speed through my successful combo here. And this one, you don't have to get all 50,000 points in one combo. And as long as you stay in the half pipe while doing it. <laughs> so you can see there, that was kind of a weird ending. I got the points in the half pipe and then had to just go back there to finish the level. Hard vibrations is this next one here with green guy over here. Shout out Jester on stilts. So he wants you to do a manual up the ramp. So you could either hold B or go up down on the left stick to manual up that ramp. Next you want to go to the bottom floor to reach a target spot and then just do eight grab tricks which you could just tap B eight times while in the air. And get to the last spot here and just tap LB five times, easy enough. Next we're going to do spell out our target in the corner here. This guy wants us to spell out Gibson. So again, the key is to come at it at an angle so you can grind instead of stall. So that one's pretty easy to spell out as long as you do it in a quick succession there and not get stuck on that half pipe. Next we're going to talk to our rad buddy over here, Chaser. He wants you to fall and reach the target spot, which is actually on the bottom floor. So I found you could actually get on your board and get closer to the location and then fall off. To get to the target spot, you don't actually have to roll from the top here, as I'll show you. I'm just going to fall to the bottom and then roll there. I think it's alright if you roll over the flames too. Then just roll into the vent and he'll be pumped.
Next, we're going to go up top here, time stamping with our Mohawk friend. This guy wants, or girl, whatever it is, wants you to grind three clocks. So first one, easy enough, jump off, grind it. Second one, you could also get to from the top level here. I'm going to bail, but as you can see, you could have grinded from there. And if you got wall right on, you could also wall right up there. I barely touched it there and it counted, but you could also jump from the purple lane there. There's lots of ways to get to this one. I clearly didn't realize it already counted for me on that little tap. So as long as you tap Y while by the rim, you should get credit for it. Transfer. Bingo. I don't even think you have to transfer there. You just tap Y. But when in doubt, double R tap RB to transfer into it and grind it. Next is another person on top of... Person. Bird on top of the cage here. And he wants you to get a 100,000 point combo. So again, you could try and be unique and get skills all over the place. Or, like I said, in the settings, turn off balancing and just do all your tricks on here. We're going to super speed through this because that's a lot of points. Pretty easy. Obviously, with the cheats on. Then we're going to go to collect the letters skate guy over here. They're all in the bottom corner. Those ones are all pretty basic. Again, I had to come back to do that one after beating the story mission, hence why the achievement popped there. So now we're gonna do the last story mission to get to level five. Surprise, we're talking to Crag again. Crazy Ace Ventura looking moth. So this one wants you to transfer onto the magazines from the floor, there you go. I believe it actually wants you to do it from the magazine to the floor ramp, but you, as you can see there, you could just do it from the floor to the magazine if you're going fast enough. And then again, you need a 15,000 point combo, as well as 75,000 points. You can't get it in the same combo, obviously, or just split it up. And we're gonna speed through it. Then I'm pretty sure they get burnt to a crisp. Either way, we're moving on to bringing it home, the last level. Let's go. And beating this, if you watch my collectible video and have all the collectibles as well, we beat this level and you should unlock those last three achievements here. All right, so on this level, we're gonna start on the bed. This level will have the hardest challenges here, so if any of you made your way to this video just for a few challenges you're stuck on, it's probably gonna be one of these last two levels here. So we're going to start off by talking to Jody. Wants you to grind the window chain, I guess you call this. I went backwards at first. So just stay grinding this. And then once you're done, it'll want you to go to the 18 different spots. I found these magazines kind of broken sometimes, as just as I'm saying that, you kind of just fall off while going straight at it sometimes. I found it happened more times than not in the middle of the magazines, but as you saw there, it didn't happen that time. So just beware, if that's happened to you, you're not the only one.
And as I've said before, use that golden sparrow marker to your advantage. It'll always point you to at least one of the objectives. There you go, you got a good extensive look of the room now. Moving on. Next we're gonna talk to Matty Boy again. He wants you to get the scissors and then find the cardboard stash. So scissors are clearly right there. Got a few cardboard in here in the chair. There's cardboard up on by the magazines. The ones on these chairs can be a little tricky. This one I kind of tumbled off the armrest to get to that one, but you can use the little ramps here and double RB to transfer in. This was kind of one of the only missions that I really found the time constraint actually made it a little difficult. Trying to get to this guy here can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Cheese and rice. There we go. Once you get it straight on, you should be able to double tap RB to get fluffed up onto that chair. And the last two are going to be over here. One underneath the shelf, one on the shelf. Yo, Matty Boy's pumped. Next, we're going to talk to Vinci up here. He wants you to grind those wires. Again, come at it at an angle so you're not stalling on the top of the mags. Not sure why it makes a crunching sound noise when you hit those. Not a lot of this game makes sense. You are a bird on a skateboard, I guess. And then once you get all those, it wants you to grind down the spiral, which is this spiral here. You just have to touch the grind once, I believe, and it'll give you, you don't have to go all the way down. As you can see, it brought me right to Vinci after I barely grinded at all. Next, we're gonna go to the kitchen counter here with birdie, or bunny ears, scarf man. This one is one of the more tricky ones. You can't fall at all. You have to get these four things without falling whatsoever. So I found trying to go over the stove was a little tricky, so... This is the way I went about it. You're gonna have to go into the kitty litter. Good thing there's no poop in there. So make sure to just be careful not to fall as it can be pretty easy. As you can see, I'm making sure to slow down in certain situations so you don't just kinda run into something and fall by accident. So as I said here, try and avoid the middle because these magazines do seem to be broken. And it would be annoying to fall at this point. So as you can see, I was avoiding the middle tape section of the magazines. That mission will bring that music recorder there, which will now allow you to use your reset teleport to teleport onto the kitchen counter where it would you'd get stuck in that shelf there until you unlock that mission. So next up, our night goggle friend wants us to get a snack bag and then arrange some snack stashes. So this one's probably the longest mission because you got to go around the floor and plop those snacks once you get the snack bag in 17 different spots. Kind of lit up in blue. So again, use that sparrow to your advantage, pointing you in the right spots. You don't need to slowly see me do what you're probably going to do. So as you can see here, speed it up a couple times. You still see the process. 
They're all over the place. That one's probably the most sneaky, the one in the shower. The one in that chair, I guess, is a little sneaky too, and the one on the armrest of that last chair. Once you get them all, night goggle guy was pleased. Next up, this guy wants you to find his wallet. Definitely the easiest mission in this level. Just climb up this ramp, transfer over this ramp, this... Whatever you call those. I feel kind of stupid, not knowing what they're called. Quarter pipes? <laughs> Either way, that one's really easy to grab. Next up, our baller buddy Chaser wants you to go through the hoop there that he set on fire to make it look cooler. So again, use up on the D-pad to transfer onto the stove. And then you're gonna have to jump into the hoop there and then as soon as you do you can just tap LB to scrim and he'll be pretty pumped on the cool moves he just pulled off we're gonna have to go back to him later I think next up the crow fan that you found the rumors earlier for I don't believe they want rumors this time but you do have to skate through certain spots 23 of them to be exact and you also have to ollie 30 times, so keep in mind you can be ollieing throughout this process to get them knocked down. As I waited until afterwards to do them, but you can get credit for doing them while you're riding around to these spots. Because the time constraint can make it a little difficult, as you'll see at the end. I just keep ollieing until the time's almost up. So at least for these 23 spots, they're all pretty close together. And once you get 23, it'll tell you how many ollies you still need to do, so. As I mentioned, that marker would already be up there if you were ollieing throughout. So now with the last 50 seconds, I'm just going to keep tapping A to ollie as often as I can. Still managed to do it with like 18 seconds left. Mr. Peach wanted a shout out. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for these crow homies. Next up, this guy's gonna be underneath the shelf. This guy wants you to stay in a combo for 30 seconds. As I mentioned before, we turn balancing off so you could literally just sit there for 30 seconds. So I'll speed through that. You don't need to watch me sit there for 30 seconds. And we're done. Super easy. Next, we're going to do the skate with Mr. Fedora over here. Pretty basic stuff like all those skate collections are. Now we're gonna go talk to Craig over here. So you gotta tap B while in the air to do a grab trick near the glittery circles as you can see. The little pink pulsing circles. So as you see when I was in there, I just tap B, get credit. You also have to stay in a combo for 30 seconds. So as you can see, that's what I was doing here. Working on the combo while I'm getting to the second glitter bomb. So they don't give you a timer here, so just kinda keep in your head or look at the time up top and judge your 30 seconds. So I just decided to get the 60,000 points in one combo, thinking that'll probably be good enough for 30 seconds. As you can see, I wasn't too sure if I hit 30 seconds left yet, so I was being a little extra safe. And then the last glitter spot's gonna be inside the shower. Just tap B in the air, easy. 
Ace Ventura's pumped. Propeller hat's pumped. We're moving on. Next, we're gonna talk to a Scarfy Man Rex. He wants you to do some kick flips by the curtains. So you see there, you could grind past it and do a kick flip, or you could go from the floor area, which is obviously easier like this, and just go to the drape, do a kick flip. Next, he wants you to go to the bed and then do 10 manual tricks. So hold B for half a second, 10 times in a row once you get on the bed. Then you gotta go to the kitchen and grind the pan, so I'm gonna just go off the rail here and it goes right into the pan. And then after that you just need 40,000 points, so we'll just do our good old stall on a lip and do a bunch of flip tricks combo. Then get 40 points and land. Oh wow, Rex is happy. All right, Rex, that's enough. Next, we're gonna do Bounce House with Sharice. Sounds kind of funky. So I want you to grind and I guess plant some plant seeds, just kind of weird. Gotta do it in nine different glowy green spots. As you see, there's a line down there and then a line up here. Jesus. There we go. <laughs> then you have to go under the bed and tap LB once you're under there to do a scream. Scrum. Then you gotta go to the forgotten shelf, which is just over here. Yeah. And tap LB when you're in there too. <laughs> Sharice will be happy with that. Good day, ma'am. Next, we're back here with Chaser who wants you to do another dunk into the hoop. This time, you gotta get some water first in the sink. It's a little clear water bottle, kinda sneaky. And then again, you gotta go into the ring. Eventually, you can line yourself up and then jump in there. And then once you do this one, you gotta scream 10 times. So just tap LB rapidly 10 times. And they'll be pretty happy with your performance. Next, our green friend over here wants you to bail off your board and roll around the bed. You basically gotta do a loop around the bed. So just jump and keep tapping X until you hit the ground is an easy way to fall. Then you just gotta roll around the bed here. Again, like in the office, you're not like quite a ball, so it can be kind of awkward to roll around. You tap LB to do a scram and bounce a little bit, but I find that kind of screwed me up more times than not. So this one's definitely a pretty lame mission. I probably should have sped this one up, but that's all right. And once you eventually roll to all the spots there, you'll be pretty happy about it for some reason. Next up, we're gonna talk to Propeller Hat over here with our seagull friend chilling in the house now. This one can be kind of annoying. You gotta ollie at the front of these suitcases to open them. And I found basically I had to just kind of fall into the suitcases for the most part and roll into the clothing that's inside them. So once you're in there, just roll around to hit the other ones. You can obviously spawn on your skateboard in there too if you press A, but 
There you go, get the shutter shades. That one's probably the trickiest up there, so that's why I went for that one first. As you can see, you can ollie and fall in there in one motion. That's why I said maybe roll around in there to get the second one. That would have saved me a little bit of time. Jesus. Easily one of the more annoying challenges. And then the last one here is going to be on the bed. And eventually, with enough struggle, you'll be able to complete this one and get all the clothes. Wow. And at least the seagull's happy. Next, we got our point family over here. They only want 70,000 points this time. Last time, they wanted 200,000, so this feels kind of easy. Next we're going to go up here to Mohawk Buddy. You're going to have to touch each of these weird floaty platforms that have randomly appeared. So I use the up on the D-pad to spawn back up there a couple times to help me with this one. You can get it in one motion, but depending on whatever boost you got and jumps and settings and things like that, you can kind of have a hard time getting from one to the other without just flying out into the abyss, as you see here. Just gonna respawn on the shelf a couple times, and once you tap each of them, mission complete. Next, we're gonna go see our friend Chad here that we haven't seen in a while. Up by the kitchen sink, and he wants you to do a twist. So we're just gonna go up to this ramp here and spin 720 degrees, which is two full rotations. Pretty easy. Next up, I believe this is the final one. You got the whole squad here. Vincey's now wearing a crown. I don't remember ever seeing Vincey wear a crown. Seagull's here, all dressed up. The whole squad's ready to go. So if you've done all the missions up to this point, got all the collectibles, all you gotta do is do a scream. And you should unlock the last three achievements. Remember, the very last achievement, you gotta watch the credits, have all the collectibles, and do all the missions. And it won't pop until you get to the menu. So again, if you didn't, if you completed the game and then came back and do the missions, you're gonna have to go to the start menu to unlock that final achievement. It won't just pop mid-level when you do your final mission. So I'll show you here. You gotta watch the slow rolling credits that do take a little while. And when you get to the, near the end here, it'll send you to the title screen, as I mentioned. And the final achievement should pop. So I hope my two videos I made for this game helped everybody get the achievements here. And if you're stuck on any missions, hope this made you have a little bit easier process playing through the game, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope to see you in my other videos. Catch you later. Have fun achievement hunting. Peace.